You're all. We've got the uh, plunge pool uh, here on the uh, oh, meadow model at Indigo Park. It's a uh, small pool just to uh, be able to get in and uh, cool off for the summer. It um, is Feels good heated with a geothermal system. And how that works is you actually drill, in this case, for this size pool, there are three wells that go down 300 feet uh, underground. And it's a loop. And uh, the uh, uh, water, the coolant, uh, is pumped down into a loop. It absorbs the, uh, the heat of the earth and uh, utilizes, brings that into the, to the heater itself, and there's a heat exchange. So the, once you get about 10 feet below the surface, ground is about 64 degrees yeah, constant uh, year round. That fluctuates a little bit, but not very much. Uh, so you're taking advantage hey, of that. Hey, I'm mid uh, that bench up there. And yes, one of the huge advantages is, hey, is hey, that you you're not you using a propane natural gas heater, which environmentally is uh, it's horrible. Right. Uh, the amount of uh, carbon uh, that's used uh, for, for pool heaters is, uh, is everything else really right? not good for the environment. So, and then costs. Uh, it would cost close to uh, about $500 a week to heat a pool like this, just in propane or natural gas. And it's, uh, it's pennies uh, on the dollar for the geothermal uh, use. So it's, it's, it's an expensive unit up front. Uh, this uh, pro heater costs about twenty-seven thousand uh, dollars for the pro heater itself. But when you when you're saving, you know, five hundred dollars at a clip every week, it uh, it adds up, and that adds up over a lifetime. So you could swim in it all year, winter. Uh, really, it's it's designed to uh, maintain a uh, temperature, an eighty degree temperature and fifty-five degree air temperature. Okay. So in the winter. You're really not gonna. Uh, you're really not gonna probably get to an 80 degree uh, uh, temperature. Right, right. But uh, it extends the season a lot. It dramatically extends the season. Okay. So it's uh, again, it's uh, environmental and then long term uh, cost.